I bet you've never seen a tree service truck at field day before. And you've probably never seen field day having a two element cubicle quad all homebrew for 20 meters at 70 feet. They're gonna have a hell of a time on field day this year with that antenna. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. All right, Gary, so tell us here about this uh, cubicle quad that you you had, uh, you and Phil, you and Paul made it. Yes, Paul, KDX, uh, KN4 KDX helped me. It's a 20-meter, two-element quad. Um, we got the designs off of uh, uh, the Internet and uh, figured that uh, with a 100 watts limit on field day, we could build something that had some gain. And so we decided on building this single element or two element quad. And uh, it took us about four months to gather everything up and uh, put it together two or three times and tested it. And it's been real, real good. We had a lot of fun with it, putting it together. That's all, is it all like homebrew sourced parts? And Everything is homebrew on the thing. So what are the spreaders made out of? Uh, the spreaders are bamboo all the, and the uh, aluminum pipe, uh, fence pipe for the boom. Right. And as you can see, there's a, no parking sign there as a support. That's got to be back in where it was taken from on Monday morning. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, Scott's Tree Service here in, in Vero Beach uh, gave us the truck. Yeah, man. Uh, very, very good of them. They're, they're, a big, they're a big outfit here. Oh, in very good. they got very, a, lot of, a lot of good people, too. Oh, yes. And uh, they brought it over early this morning. And as you can see, we're about ready to go. We're going to test it. Yeah. And uh, bring it back down and do some couple little things to it. Now, did you it. test it at your house first ever? Yes, we tested it at Paul's house. Had it about three or four feet off the ground and uh, with a 20-watt uh, QRP rig, I talked to my brother in Buchanan, West Virginia. I got a 5.8 from him on 20 meters, somewhere around 14, 3, 25 was the frequency. And how far off of, well, the ground was it? About three feet. Wow. And uh, so we know it works quite well. Yeah. So, so how, how, what's the bandwidth on this thing? Like how... Could you do the whole 20 meter band? If you wanted to, it's cut for the center of the phone band. Right. Because most of the guys like to do phone on field day. Yeah. And so we cut it for that. And um, what's the weight of that? How much do you think that weighs? The whole shooting match, probably about 100 pounds or less. Yeah. So how did you how did you actually get it up on this bucket truck? What was the process of that? We uh, Paul had a trailer that we put a 10 uh, foot section of Rome tire on, tied it to it, and then we built the thing on that. And then transferred it to the uh, bucket truck. That was over there on something. Yes, uh, right there at the trail. Yeah. Oh, these. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Jan was saying something about those green things over there. Oh yes, yeah, so those poles. We put it together, just like uh, <laughs> it looked like a Chinook helicopter. With <laughs> 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 yeah. well, when I was playing with it in my front yard, I had it all put together. And my neighbor came out and says, "Gary, uh, when are you going to put the body of that helicopter together with that thing?" <laughs> but it's been uh, been a lot of fun building it. I hope I have a good time with it today. And how how big is the, so? What is that? 60, uh, 60 feet square, like fifteen feet on each side. It's uh, point to point. It's uh, twenty five feet. Okay, between the spread, uh, spreaders, the tip tip is about seventeen feet. Okay, and of course the boom's eight feet. Yeah. And, uh, and that's up at 70 feet. Uh -huh. Excellent. And how do you guys turn that thing? Is there a rotator up there? We want to put a rotator on it, but we was afraid that, you know, due to weather and something happening. So we scratched that and we're going to do that uh, by ropes by hand. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Face it northwest and away you go. Way to go. Because we're only going to have to move it a couple times at the most. Yeah. Once you tie it down, you're good to go. So big question, Gary. What is the next field day plan? What's the next thing you're going to come up with by next field day? You've got, you got a year to plan. <laughs> if, this, if this works good, this is going to be gonna the... put uh, 15 and 10 meters on this thing ah. and say, okay, guys, we're done. Because <laughs> okay. we built a, a cobweb last year, if yeah. you remember, uh -huh. and uh, that was quite successful. Yeah. And uh, so since then, we've built three or four uh, of those. So if you add 10... 10, what do you say, 10 to 6 meters? No, uh, 15 and 10. If you add 15 and 10 on there, the sides will look like, it'll start to look like a cobweb that's turned up on its side. Yes. With two, you know, one's a reflector and one's a driven element, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you, the difference on the uh, boom length is different per band. Right. So, you know, if you're 8 foot, you might be 
six feet on 15 meters. Right. So you, you have to change your spreader lines. Oh, so they'll be, they'll be like inside each other. No, they'll, well, no, there'll be one, but what you'll do is you'll tie them off like a bow, like a bow and arrow, uh -huh. tip to tip, and that way you'll spring them out and give you the distance. Okay. On 20, and then you just tie the, tie them, the other bands in at the right, yeah. right distance. Mm -hmm. I love this camera because I can zoom all the way in. To all, there's all the nuts and bolts. Look at that. That's plywood. That's five. That's plywood. Okay. Five eighths painted plywood. Cool. So if you say it can't be done, it can. And if you want to, what would you think the total cost is in this? Oh my gosh. Total cost, about about eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. <laughs> wow. If you have bamboo next 80, door that you can cut down from the neighbor's yard. Yes. Oh yeah. If you get on bought the bamboo online, it'd be about ten dollars a stick. Wow. So yeah, pretty good. But there's well, Paul over there. Doing his thing. Yeah. And, uh, Hello, Paul. <laughs> Wave. <laughs> Everybody appreciates your antenna on YouTube. I can tell right now. The comments are already there. I hadn't even hit the internet yet. <laughs> We're proud of it. Yeah, man. So you guys uh, have fun this field day, and I'm dying to know how that antenna works. Uh -huh. We are too. Yeah, yes. man. Hey, good. See you. Seven three. Thank you.